that morning. Okay, are you ready for this one? So, there's the tree. It's in my front porch area, which is this little uh, concrete and graveled in kind of uh, place here. Um, so I come out the other day. Today is uh, the second. May 2nd. And this is uh, April 25th, I think, or 23rd. And it's been, uh, this tree's been all chopped to heck. <clears throat> and all the limbs chopped off, or just left laying there. It was a healthy tree, there wasn't any dying going on. And this is, uh, happens, I don't know, pretty regularly the fourth or fifth time that some trees or shrubs or bush or whatever has been chopped to heck and all the limbs have been left just laying forever. My neighbor's house, uh, right over there, managed by the same rental agency. You can see, I'll try, there was a tree right there. And I don't know, last year sometime they chopped it all to heck and just left all the brush laying there for the person who rents the place to deal with. So, I'm getting tired of having to pick up the limbs, particularly since here, um, you know, I can't throw them in the trash. Uh, so it's a pain in the butt, and I don't like it looking like this. It looks like junk. So I asked the guy the other day, went down to pay my rent, <clears throat> I said, uh, what's the deal with the trees all being chopped up? And the limbs just left all over the damn place. And the landscape guy, his name's Cece, I think. <clears throat> He's a real product of modern educational system. Says, uh, well, it's not an ornamental tree. I said, that really kind of answers my question about why, why did it get all hacked up? Said, was it damaging the building in some way? <clears throat> so I thought, okay, well, you know, if it's tearing up the siding or something, you got to trim it back, though that's uh, the worst trim job I've ever seen in my life. Not to mention, he didn't pick up any of the limbs. <clears throat> he said, uh, it's not an ornamental tree, it's just scrub. I'm thinking, scrub? Does that really count? It's like a 14 plus foot of scrub. <laughs> looked fine to me. Of course, when I told him it looked fine to me, he told me, well, why don't you just go hug a tree? Which is very similar to saying, why don't you just go F off, you know. Anyway, so he finally regressed to saying, well, you know, it's bad for the foundation. Okay, I can actually understand that. There's some truth to that. It can be. And there's the trunk. If it's bad for the foundation, how come he didn't remove the tree? How come he just leaned over from up there and just hacked at it and left it looking like this? He tried to say, well, he's supposed to keep the, the place looking good. And how in the world does this mess look good than a live, better than a live, healthy tree? Sorry, by the way, I'm doing this on my iPhone. I try to hold it very careful, but <clears throat> it's a little difficult. So, and, okay, and if it's bad for the foundation, which is potentially true, <clears throat> though there's a precedence, this tree has been here for quite a long time. <clears throat> Why didn't he then chop this thing down? Which is a growth off that tree, coming out of the ground right there. Okay, why didn't he cut him down? Oh, that's not the only one. There's one there too. How come he didn't cut him down if it's bad for the foundation? <clears throat> it's not that he cares about it being bad for the foundation, I guess. Otherwise, he would have taken out those little tree spurts. <sighs> he has no real argument or reason why he chose to do what he did and ultimately in my opinion there's no excuse for leaving the brush laying around which 
like I said, this is like the third or fourth time that I've come out and found that he's trimmed something, maybe not just this tree, but my neighbor's trees or whatever down to nearly nothing, and just left the brush there for me to deal with. It makes it look like heck. I'm trying to be uh, selective with my words there. <clears throat> it's just amazing to me. This guy is an idiot. He can't defend his argument. He has no reason for what he did. And whatever the heck it was that he did, he didn't even bother to finish the job. Um, really, it's not that bothered that he cut the tree, though I prefer to have the tree there. Uh, what really bothers me is, well, we'll just leave all the branch all over the place, uh, cut branches all over the place, and let it look like, uh, you know, well, filter your words. Heck. <clears throat> It looks trashy. So, how is this beautification? I don't know. At any rate, the rental agent is a landlord company, lease agent, whatever. Capital City Property Management. And almost everybody there I dealt, deal with really, I think, do better than most. Some of them do exceptional. Uh, so I'm very pleased with them. But this guy, I believe his name is CC or CR or something like that. Just amazing. It's completely infuriating. Um, uh, so, if you had a uh, capital city property management, and you had your trees or bushes or scrub hacked away and just left there for you to deal with by CC or whoever, let us know. Let them know. Uh, tell them to stop doing it. <clears throat> All right, I got to go to work. Enjoy. Bye.